Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and today we are going to do a brake job on this. A tow dolly. It's basically the same as you would do with any other vehicle. It's kind of the same work. Uh, uh, some you need to loosen up more items than others, and some you need not much at all. This one is not so bad. I actually just changed the ones on the other side, so I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to this. Let me take you through it really quick, because you just entered the Coolest Life DIY edition. So the first thing you're gonna need some tools. Uh, one, of course, you gotta get the tire off. So you need the lug nut remover or what have you. And I typically just use, you know, whatever size and bolt I need. And no, I don't have one of those big wrenches. I just use one of these. Um, as long as it's a good quality, you'll be okay. Uh, most cars come with one of these, which would sometimes help. This actually doesn't fit mine. This actually fits my car and not this. But uh, here's all we have here. So basically I remove the tire. You got this right here. Always check this. This is what you call your grease fitting. I popped it out and made sure there was some good grease in there and it looked halfway healthy. What I'm gonna do now is remove the bolts because I'm gonna I need to replace this one and the one on the inside, which is this piece here. These come hooked. And what I mean by that is if I can find, oh, here it is. This one here is gonna go inside just like that. And you can see these are straight. Those are curved. So you're gonna to need to pry these out I've only found this on this, on this tow dolly. I've never found this on, I've never found this on anything else but a tow dolly. So since I've never found this any place but a tow dolly, you're gonna to need to um, pry these out. I'll tell you what I used. I used a hammer and they got a big nasty screwdriver. That's like big nasty. I got this screwdriver. It's a big nasty. And basically I put it right there and I tapped my hammer just a few times and it got up underneath this thing and I was allowed to pull it out. So once I get this off, slide it this way here, this should basically fall out and so I'll get it. And, uh, but uh, first I gotta get this thing here off and actually I have already loosened up my bolts on the back side, which look like this. They're gonna go straight inside of here. Uh, they come down through here and they screw this onto the frame. Um, it's actually a frame that's screwed on too. Um, the rest of this is uh, mounted onto a spindle in the center. And there are uh, an inside uh, bearing. An outside bearing is also an outside seal. And then there's a washer and then a what they call a castle bolt that goes on there. And that's all that holds that together. And this is basically free floating until you put all that stuff together. But we always want to make sure this is spinning a little bit. It's actually rubbing on my brakes. You also want to check these. You basically run your fingernail across it. And if you don't feel a lot of buh, 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 if it's not bumping a whole lot, you're probably pretty good. This is this is pretty good. It's nice and smooth. And I can feel it from the other side. It's pretty smooth too. So no issues there. Now let me see if I can get this thing to loosen up. Well, this one here is being a little stubborn, so I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna to have to tap it just a little bit, but I really want to use both hands so I can catch it when it falls off because it will, and I don't want to put all that tension on my on my hose on the other side, but uh, hopefully if it, it, I don't mind it hanging with the weight of, uh, by, with this weight only on the hose, but I don't want it to jerk, you know? So, and that's where my my bolt would have went through, this one here. But I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and put my new pads on. I wanted you to see the comparison of how bad they can be and how bad it was. So here's the new one here. Nice and smooth and squared, and you can see this one here is a, is the best example of its. It's got a lip right there. You see that lip right there across the top, so I can tell how much it's been used. There's still a lot of wear on this. Let me see how thick this is. You can tell there's still plenty of wear. I really didn't have to change this, but I will say if you're going to change one side, you change the other side. Now, why did I change the other side? I had to replace a bearing over there, and I really should have done a, a video of the bearings, but I didn't do one. But the bearing over there. Uh, actually came out. I mean, it was bad. I had to get a new castle, new hub. I went and got the new hub and everything. The whole works was like $130. So it was pretty cheap to replace all of it. So that's what I did. But then I went and got uh, brake pads, which you're not going to find these AutoZone or any place like that, or, you know, O'Reilly's or any, anything. But uh, I went to a trailer shop and actually had them in, in stock. So mine's actually a Kodiak. 
A lot of these come with brake shoes and not brake pads. And brake shoes, you have to look for another video. They're, they are so different in the way it works. It's basically a big drum and the pads go inside and they, they push outward to the side of their drum. But this, these are, and that's pretty common. It's actually pretty common for some cars to have that. Most cars have disc brakes, much like what you see on the old Jetta over here. Anytime you've got a big drum like that in the blue, uh, or should I say a caliper like that, and that is disc brakes, not not uh, drum brakes. As a matter of fact, that old Jeep back there, the back ones, just might be drums. But uh, we're going to focus on this one here. We're on disc brakes, and we're going to replace these pads. So I'm going to slide these back in here and uh, get this thing working. I probably didn't, wouldn't have to. Um, I want to clean this up a little bit first. Let me zoom you out. <laughs> I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Basically, it's just going to go in here just like that. Now, I can turn these up, these pieces right here, if I wanted to. I probably won't. They don't need to be. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll knock them up just a little bit. That will provide a little extra support. Basically, when this thing, it, it won't be lagging anywhere. It kind of somewhat, you could say, it might help keep rocks and stuff from going in there. And then this one here is going to go in here. However... If you'll notice something here, this is out. You see how this is? You can actually see this. It should be flush. And the only reason I say that is once you get new pads in there, it takes up some of that ground that was left by this being rubbed off. Because there's actually uh, quite a bit. I mean, it's not even a, maybe an eighth of an inch that's had some, uh, some wear. But if you try to put it in with this sticking out, you're going to find out that this is too thick. So you can't slide the... You can't slide the brake pads over top of it. So what you need to do is push this in, push this piece here in. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that right now with the C-clamp. So what have I got going on here? I've got, I've got a file, just a regular old file. Basically I need a piece of metal. And I put that on here because I, if this is actually, this, this cylinder here is actually hollow. So I need a brace for it. And then I just put it on a C-clamp. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this in till I can't see this anymore. That's all I'm gonna do. Now you can probably see how I've, how I've tightened this down and now you can't see that cylinder anymore. All I'm gonna do is loosen it up and watch this, it's gonna stay. Or at least I hope it does. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. I feel like it doesn't want me to. All right, I kinda got loose and I'm gonna just loosen this up. Come out of my hand and that's falling off like it's supposed to. I got that out of the way and now my, my cylinder has been pushed back inside this hole, which is a good thing. Now all I'm gonna do is you do, you do this one first, because it's got the hooks. In fact, I think I'm gonna clean that really quick. Well, I did clean up a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell. Uh, I got some of the brake dust off of it, but uh, we'll put these pieces back in here. This is gonna go in basically curved side down. Put in those holes. That should go up here right nice and tight. These two horns here are gonna go straight down. Always curve side down, only because this is that direction. And now I'm gonna take and put it on top. Back lined up and everything, and got it, got it pushed on. And then I gotta do these screws down here. See these right here? These are the screws that were set in here in my tray. I put them right back in here. Is that one there? And that one there, I just tightened up that one there, and now I just need to tighten up this one here. And that part will be done. I can put my tire back on. All right, I got the tire back on, well, sort of, I haven't, I haven't put these back on yet. Uh, typically, I just I, I somewhat hand tighten them and then I, I tighten them all up. Anytime you're dealing with something like this, tighten here and then at least skip one or two. Either way, you want to skip one. You're going to either want to skip this one or skip that one. But you're going to go opposite side if you can to skip one. So you want to randomly do those. So you want to get them snug, 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 and then tighten them down good there, there. Tighten this one, then that one. Than that one so so you're skipping one every time you go um so that that tends to work so you could go here that one then that one then that one anyway so skip along as you go um i wouldn't i would recommend wearing gloves i've got gloves i brought gloves did i remember to put them on no so your hands end up looking like this and you get brake dust all over them um i mean tires are dirty they're out in the road and the elements and and so always keep that in mind put the gloves on first what you probably should do and really save you some cleaning time at the end oh before i do a closeout video here's one of the reasons you do that see see how it's got a beveled edge to it 
See how it's kind of cone shaped here at the end of this? That's why you would do that because that's actually going to go inside this hole because the rest of the nut is going to lay out outside of the hole. So that's kind of why you bevel around. You don't want to tighten one down uh, while this tire is moving because the tire is going to sag just a little bit. It's going to want to go gravity. It's going to pull it. So that's why you want to, you want to snug them up uh, like this and, and do them opposite because you, you want that tire to really, the, the wheel I should say, this is the tire, that's the wheel, I know. Uh, you want it to sit so that this is actually, I got, I got that one almost, I, that one's kind of tough to turn right there, so I want to hit that one with a wrench, but it's going to go in this hole just a little bit. So that's kind of why you want to do them uh, randomly like that. Well, I hope that video helped you better understand how easy it is to replace your brake pads. Something you can definitely do yourself. Most brake pads are just like that because they're disc brakes. Same kind of process, same kind of steps. Get the tire off, get the two uh, bolts off the back, uh, loosen up those brake pads, get them out of there, and then, uh, of course, replace them. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other DIY videos in the playlist called, I think it's called DIY. <laughs> but check it out. Uh, uh, hope you're doing well and be sure to like and subscribe because uh, I could definitely need all the subscribers I can get and all the all the watch time too uh, but I need to let you go because I need to get back out here living the coolest life yeah